This Saturday, the Abilene Community Theater is partnering with angel organizations in the big country for an evening of entertainment and education. So here to tell us more, David Ingram and Trina Nelson. Welcome today. Glad to have both of you here. Yeah, thanks for having here. us. I've heard much about this event and a show that Abilene Community Theater is getting ready to take to the stage. That opens next weekend. But as a precursor to that, we're doing something here. You all are doing something here that is pretty tremendous. Um, and I'll let you all tell me more about it. But it all stemmed from a, a, an actual theater production, a show, yes. Angels in America. Yes, mm -hmm. And that was about? Uh, that's basically, a, it's set in 1985. Um, it's about the AIDS crisis um, in the 80s. Uh, it talks about kind of like the stigma of yep. what um, was it was like to have a, uh, AIDS and there was no really no resources. But there's other, another character that um, she ha battles uh, drug addiction because she's addicted to Valium. So, uh, so there's kind there's of an escalating problem. Mm -hmm. just yeah, there's became. multiple storylines that are happening within this play. So you all have turned this to angels in the big country, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you will. <laughs> yes. Um, representing a lot of different resources here in the big country. Yes. Because when the AIDS came out in the 80s, it was an unknown. There were a lot of things that people, they didn't understand mm -hmm. it. They didn't right. know how it was transmitted. They didn't know how it was affected or treated it, uh, even. Mm -hmm. And yet it became a very stereotyped disease mm -hmm. that affected only what people thought was a certain part of the population. And we've come right. to learn that's not the case. AIDS no, does not exactly. discriminate against anyone, mm -hmm. color, mm -hmm. race, religion, age, all of the above. Exactly. So this weekend, with a grant that you got? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, we were, we were, uh, su were supported with a grant that has been provided uh, to us by the Abilene Cultural Affairs Council, Heart to, for the Arts, and the City of Abilene themselves to put on this production. And part of that production is doing that educational forum. But the, instead of having people speaking, we're having a mixture of a variety show in two parts, which will be uh, a mixture of drag performances along with the speakers kind of intertwined with there. This mm -hmm. is really a resource. This is, so the event is this Saturday. The show's mm -hmm. next yes. weekend, yes, but we want you to come out to this event this weekend because, you know, there's so to understand what the resources are available, to mm -hmm. understand who else is going through these things and, and how else, you know, you can either help or you can find help if, if mm -hmm. that's where you, where you are in life at this time. Yeah. You know, you, um, Trina, you work with people at Serenity House and yes. you work with people going through different stages of addiction and, mm -hmm. and, and issues and that sort of thing. And so all of these things, they're not independent. They're all no. interconnected. Right. So on Saturday, you're going to be, people can come and they can do what? In addition to taking in the shows and the education, what kind of things will they hear? Uh, they, they'll, they'll hear um, speakers uh, from, uh, from BCAR, from Serenity House, uh, Exodus Metropolitan Community Church, because they, they formed in 1980, so they experienced all of that and what it was mm -hmm. like for their church being an LGBTQIA-friendly <laughs> church. Um, uh, the Abilene Recovery Council, and then right. with the uh, Pride, the very first major Pride happening, we have the Abilene Pride Alliance also speaking, and Mer Mercy Clinic will also be represented there as well, doing the, f the free STI testing. And the event is free, and it is also family friendly, and so yeah. All, all well, it affects families. It affects pe Absolutely. families in all mm -hmm. aspects of families. No one's, like, like we said, no one's immune to this. Mm -hmm. AIDS is not something that like, it didn't discriminate. And so when people come, they can feel heard mm -hmm. and yes. seen and included, and if, uh, whether it's for yourself or if it's for someone you know, or if it's just because you want to be better informed. Right. right. I think that that's, uh, we, I think we talk all the time about ignorance and educating ourselves to be right. able to overcome the stigmas and be able to, you know, change the path and change the direction that we want to take our community. Exactly, right. exactly. All right, so this is something we want people to come out yes. and take Absolutely. part in. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. yes. And it's, I mean, and also a big thing that is happening the night of the event, the Tickets for the show are going to be at a discounted rate if you purchase them the night of the event at the theater. So this coming Saturday, yes. you come, yes. come to the theater this Saturday, take in information, uh, again, take in a show, take in um, if you need testing, if you need resources, if you need help, if you need guidance and direction, this is the time to do it. Absolutely. And yep. get your tickets for the next weekend. Yes. yes. Yep. And it's 80s themed, so it's encouraged to dress 80s if you want to. <laughs> I still have clothes from the 80s. It's all fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so retro to some of us. Thank you so much for doing well, thank this. Thank you so much. Absolutely. You know, I think that it's important that the community continue to know that they are seen, they are heard, and they are welcomed, and they are included, and they are looked after and cared for. Absolutely. Absolutely, because they are cared for. All right. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. We would like the rest of you. We would love you to come out, Angels in the Big Country. Now, that is at the Abilene Community Theater at 809 Barrow Street this Saturday, August the 6th. The doors open at 6.30. The event begins at 7.30. This is a free and family-friendly event. You can learn more at abilenecommunitytheater.org, supported by our local community and organizations. And then you'll get your tickets for next weekend's performance.